Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have an exciting video on our first shots of the Anderson 11.5 Frontline AR Pistol. Let's check it out. But before we get into any of the uh, nitty gritty of what I thought of my first shots of this Anderson Frontline, I first want to say thank you guys for watching all these videos. We're, almost, we're well on our way to reaching our 5,000 subscriber goal. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do me a favor and do that now. It really helps the channel and comment, like the video, share this with your friends, do all that fun stuff uh, because it gives the opportunity for people like Anderson to actually want to work with us even more so we would really appreciate it if you could just do that little favor and subscribe but before we get even more into this video let's hear a word from this video sponsor guys this video was made possible by our friends over at fattech.com it is your quintessential one-stop shop for everything that the big boys love we have our influencer apparel side you go right over there scroll down if you want to get some premium shooting gallery merch you check it out it is awesome they have the tactical mini they have our new logo design new hats cell phone cases you name it but the beauty of fat tack is they don't charge a fat tax so for us bigger boys that want to get clothing you don't have to pay extra but you have the option for blue alpha belts gideon optics prime armor goon beam you name it they now are offering medical gear from uh medical gear outfitters so guys please do me a favor check out the link in the video description and check out fat tech we thank you for sponsoring today's video so guys i made the conscious decision yesterday to finally take this 11.5 front line from anderson manufacturing to the range and pretty much give it its first shots i only did two mags out of it just because i had limited ammo that i was working with i'm waiting on a thousand rounds that i actually picked up from brown owls so brown owls is going to be the ammo sponsor for the majority of this Anderson frontline build so if you guys haven't known what the frontline is I'll leave a link to the podcast we did with my man Kyle from Anderson on the shooting Woods podcast it's gonna be here or here or probably in the description as well so make sure you check that out but the Anderson frontline is their kind of middle of the road civilian uh, AR-15 series they have 16 inch they have a 10.5 and they have the 11.5 pistol they also have a 300 blackout uh, now it's their proprietary mon um, M-Lock style handguard full-length Picatinny rail it comes with the Magpul blade pistol brace this is a pistol this is in the 11.5 configuration uh, it comes with a Magpul K2 grip brake arms and be charging handle they're for their own bulk hair group everything is from the factory there coming with a standard a2 flash hider well, on top we have the gideon optics mediator uh, i'm borrowing this from my man walter keller of safety arbor firearms for the review uh this thing is pretty dope guys check out gideon optics if you use code joe juice you save 10 percent off your entire order uh but yeah so the front line i finally took it out to the range so i zeroed this in with some what is it Frontier 223 55 grain. Uh, it took a little bit. I actually have my target. So after I got it zeroed in, because I was working just with a meteor, I only had about 15 yards. I'm gonna roll some shooting footage in in a second to show you just how the gun manipulates. But I zeroed in, I used one Gen 2 P mag with that. So this is the target. I don't know how well this is gonna show on camera. My first couple shots were right here, then as I'm staying, you know, I had used my foam action target shooting rest to kind of get it more stable. Started walking it a little bit out this way. Then these are my two shots, then right here, and then pretty much everything was in here. It took about a full mag just because I couldn't really see. I had to call cold range a couple times just to make sure I could walk down and uh, see where my targets were hitting or my shots were hitting on the target. But after that, I was like, okay. I actually put some pretty hot stuff through this. So I ended up using this cool Strike Industries uh, standard capacity magazine. Uh, and it functioned flawlessly so far. I've used two mags out of different types of mags out of this. I have two more mags I'm gonna try and I have access to my other ones just to see what is the magazine capability of the Anderson Frontline. But this thing had no recoil. I ended up shooting some uh, MA55, oh is it? M193 or XM193 green tip uh, 556. It's the light armor piercing. 
Uh, it's really not, it's like steel jacketed, not steel core. But anyway, uh, I used some green tip through this and this thing ran like a top. You guys seen the shooting footage here, uh, just running the green tip. But so far so good. I will say this gun is a pleasure to shoot in the pistol form. Uh, I was very on the fence about using the Magpul blade brace just because, you know, I was trying to shoot it kind of just resting my cheek on the uh, pistol brace. Sometimes, you know, I kind of hold it up a little bit more to get more stability. But using the Mediator, this is a very accurate 11.5 pistol. Um, so, and I noticed that I was thinking, oh man, this thing's gonna rise. This thing is gonna, you know, be all over the place. And I thought it was gonna be kind of loud because of the barrel length. So I was very surprised that this A2 flash hider kept the noise down substantially. The safety works. I'm not, oh, yeah, that was my phone. We're gonna keep that in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the Gideon Optics mediator on this is awesome. Has a, a inch and a half, looks like an inch riser, inch and a half riser on it, I believe. Uh, this is the red dot. This thing works flawlessly on it. Perfect. Um, I really, really like the brink, the brink arms, ambi charging handle. This thing, I was like, eh, okay, because I'm used to working with other ambi charging handles. But this thing is so comfortable and just it works. Now, these both these mags. This is empty. That one drops free. This also is empty. That one drops free. So this is starting to be a pretty fun gun. Once I get that thousand rounds that I ordered from Brown Owls in, uh, they are, uh, it, it, this is gonna get put through the ringer. I'm excited to get probably first 500 rounds through it, but so far so good. This gun is working great. It's running awesome on the Aegis Gun Care Joe Juice that we love on this channel. I was all use code uh, Joe Juice for 10% off there as well. But guys, Anders Manufacturing so far has knocked out of the park with this 11.5 AR-15 pistol. Um, I don't know if down the road I'm still gonna, if I might upgrade to the SB Tactical Brace, I don't know. So far so good. This is actually working very, very well for my needs of what this uh, firearm is gonna use. But, guys, if you wanna pick up one of these guns, go check out Anderson on any of your favorite internet searches. And uh, if you want to shop there, you can actually help support the channel by using code JOEJUICE for 10% off your order at Anderson Manufacturing. They have a ton of great sales going on all throughout the summer. And if you want to pick up a front line, this is what you'd want to get. Out the box, I think they're going for about eight doll hairs right now uh, on Anderson. But you can get just the uppers, you can get the lowers, you can build the site yourself. All that stuff is over that Anderson offers. So check them out and use code JOEJUICE for 10% off. As always, stay safe safe stay shooting we'll see you in the next video update on this front line from anderson manufacturing thanks guys have a good one